So after a student has completed a quiz, what do they see? In other words, what kind of review do they have? So by default, Desire to Learn only allows the student to see their score, and that is it. They don't aren't allowed to see the questions they had, what questions they got right, what questions they got wrong, none of that. So that's what Desire to Learn has. However, you can change that. You can change that for when the student immediately takes the quiz or if later in another time you want the students to be able to get to the review but maybe not until the uh, due date after the due date uh, and be able to see their answers at that point. Now in order to do all this you have to use something called the submission view. So let me show you how that works. The best way to go about this is going to content and going to quizzes so you can manage all of your quizzes. And you have to set up these particular views on each individual quiz. There isn't one default way of being able to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the quiz itself to go and edit it. You'll notice there's a tab that says Submission Views. So think of the Submission Views as the review. And I'm going to go ahead and click on that. By default, what you see here is the default view. Now that doesn't mean that's the default view for each quiz. That means it's the default view for this specific quiz. And it will give you a little summary of what's here. That the student can see this immediately after they've taken the quiz. Can they show the questions? No. And statistics? None. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the default view uh, link to be able to edit this. In other words, if I want the students to be able to see their questions, their responses, and everything after, I would go ahead and choose yes. I mean, immediately after they've taken the quiz. I can then choose show question answers incorrectly, show questions answers correctly, show answers with user without user responses, show everything. And there is a little um, help here, so I can get help on this. So it will tell me what each one of these things are. I can then choose the score and attempt. I can show the class average. Now, Let's say that you don't want the students to immediately see that after they've taken their quiz. You want to be able to have a view at a later date, let's say after the due date. In that particular case, what you have to do is click on Add an Additional View. And when you click on Add Additional View, you have to give the view uh, a name. So later review, I'll call it. You can give a message to the student if you want and then you put a date on it. So let's say that my quiz is due on uh, Friday at 11.55. I can then change this to 11.59 p.m. Um, and then what I can also do is limit the amount of time in minutes for which they can view the quiz for which it is available after the quiz is submitted. So I can then choose a certain limit of time. And then again I can say yes and show what I want and I'm going to go ahead and click Save on this. So that's my later review. So immediately after the students are done, they will see nothing except their score. And then when May 30th at 1159, after the quiz is over and no more students can take it, the next view comes into view, into, into view and the students can go through their submission um, and go and see what's, what answers they got right, what answers they got wrong. And it's up to you on, again, what you want to show them. Now the only thing that you have to be careful about if you do do an additional view is that when next semester when you copy everything that you remember this and you go back through each of the quizzes individually and change the dates on these. You just simply click on the name of the review so you can edit it and change the date. These particular dates do not show up on the manage dates area. So that's how you change the review, add a review for a later time, or change the default view for each individual quiz. Pretty simple process, but again, if you do have a later review, remember to change the date next semester. Uh, otherwise, the students may be able to see all the questions immediately after.